Hello once again audience and welcome to another episode of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Gotta gotta not forget that subtitle. Uh yeah, obviously on Switch because you're not stupid. So we're picking up where we left off le yesterday, um, which to be honest we didn't get really anything done. And I feel like these episodes are not gonna have anything getting done. It's just gonna be full of retarded dialogue and me talking to myself like a schizophrenic. Oh yeah, there's there's the, the Wii cursor because this is a Wii game on Switch. Oh, spoopers. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got this. Uh, I kind of forgot to control this. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. I said I would smash these pots, and I was not lying. And I'm... Oh, there's a lizard running out of it. So I'm actually, like, flicking my joint con, which is kind of funny. You can't just, like... You have to, like, actually throw them. Is that lizard still there? No. I'll bolt into the flowers. Alright, okay, I'll stop being a dumbass. Um... You gonna talk to me? Hey! Hey! Alright, well, I'll give him hippie voice. Hey, Spoopers, dude, up here, man. <laughs> oh, look at his eyes. He's very stoned. <laughs> Good morning to you, Spoopers. Today is finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, man, I I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. <laughs> Target me. We can have a quick chat. Uh, this is Zio. Uh, is it targeting? Oh, yeah, talk. Ooh. Excellent, man. Always remember, you can target someone to talk to them easily. Why do you not just walk up to them and talk to them? And even if there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. <gasps> that was long since. Well, actually, it wasn't. Why don't you come up here and join me, man? Be totally cool, dude. You should be able to climb up if you dash up to that wooden box, don't you think? <laughs> then you can make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. Uh, dash with B. Come on. Well, that works too. What are you up to, man? Rushing to get some last minute practice bird riding? This, I can't speak fucking English. Last minute bird riding practice in this morning, Spoopers? Oh, you have someone to meet? I bet it's that whore. I mean, hi, Zelda's waiting for you, isn't she? Oh, perfect timing then. You see, Zelda's father's roommate's brother's sister's dog's gay Pora had a pet named Mia. And well, she scampered off again. You see her up there? <laughs> She's dead. I slit her throat. I needed her to perform some necromancy for me. <laughs> Headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. I thought maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony's about to start and I really should put on a fresh set of clothes, you see. I'm extremely lazy. I don't want to do the simple task he asked me to do. Ooh. Fantastic, man. It's not really hip anymore. <laughs> so you'll do it, dude? Oh, oh, I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. When he blinks, his eyes just like sort of close. It's really weird. <laughs> you should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off that, that ledge over there, you can climb onto the roof or something from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're you're quite the climber. So I've heard from Zelda in bed. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> scoop, scoop, ba -doop. You're gonna flick the drawing on and make him go faster. <gasps> Oop, shadoop. God, it's like Breath of the Wild. I'm like climbing and stuff. Gotta push this box. Push. There we go. You can do it. Come on. You gotta jump. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, I can throw her. Aw, it's just like a weird cat possum thing. The hell is this? Just walk through there. Walk through there. There we go. 
<laughs> nice work, man. You brought her back safe and sound, dude. <laughs> Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Spoonpools. Yeah, I am busy. Sorry, I suppose I should feed her, Mia. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell Headmaster Gay Pora that we found his pet. I, I mean, you sort of found him. I just got it for you. You should be up by the statue of the goddess. I believe Zelda's there, there with him, so you should hurry it all. Oh yeah, I should give you a reward. It's not much, man, but please take this. <laughs> Don't tell the others. Epic, I just got some cash. Look, I just got 20 rupees. Wait, can I just... I'm taking you with me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Eat it. You got the red rupee. It's worth 20 rupees. Don't spend it all in one place. Who's this guy? <laughs> Jacamar. Um... I would not let him near my children. <laughs> Morning, Spoopus. How's life? <laughs> Did you manage to even get a wink of sleep last night? <laughs> of which I was watching the entire time. <laughs> I figured you might have been tossing and uh, turning all night thinking about the big cut ceremony today. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm <laughs> just fixing this gate here. Keeping Tom's can't with view through it, so I am adding holes. It's a bit squeaky lately, and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Squeaking's for in bed only. Hey, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning? Just face that bird statue over there and say a short prayer to save your progress. As you know, those bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping at every statue every time you run by one. <laughs> a prayer. Guys, laugh. A prayer in time saves nothing, if you know what I'm saying. I know what he's saying. He wants to have sex with me in bed. That's not gonna happen. You got the stamina fruit. This particular fruit replenishes your stamina gauge. Okay. I'm not gonna save just yet. Okay. Yeah, replenish. So what's the point of just not giving me a bigger stamina gauge? Oh my god, very epic scene. Where I, like, go up to a statue. Oh my god, it's like... Something, I don't, I don't know. No, no commentary. Oh, yes! Guided by the goddess. No, oh, okay. Okay, music's nice, but I'm gonna completely ruin it. <laughs> oh, youth! Guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky, brings light to the land. Oh! She's got like a very perky nose. Hey, good morning, Spoonballs! I'm glad to see my lofter and got you out of bed. I specifically told him to vomit an envelope on your face. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine. It's used today in the ceremony. Since today, I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this in Yeah, yeah, the instrument. <laughs> Yeah, tell me it's like, just like the one the goddess used to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it, and he says it's called a harp. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself, and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this. <laughs> First, you see me like this, Spoonbles. So, how do I look? <laughs> nice costume. Uh, I'll say, I won't be an asshole. I'll be only great. I think so too, but it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Spoonbles. Who has their arms on their like belt thing like that? That's weird. Ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you well prepared for today's ceremony? 
Oh, hello, father. This is gonna get bad switching between voices. Ah, Spumples, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your <clears throat> capacity for sleep, no doubt. Today's ceremony has you too excited to close your eyes for once. Meanwhile, I actually can't close my eyes. I got a rope stitched to my forehead. Jesus. <laughs> if you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in a post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. Because, don't worry, I already rigged it. His eyes, though. Jesus. Yeah, about that. Father, I don't know if you can do it. Recently, Spoombles hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, like sexually, he just lazily glides around. He doesn't even take top anymore. Probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's gonna have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. I already told you, I rigged the race. And I mean, like, you think I'm gonna let him have sex with you? Come on. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as the bond to his bird. A sexual bond? Today will not come... Today victory will not come easily. <laughs> and as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than for fret about him. You see, Spoonpills and his left wing share a special connection. A sexual one. I've never seen anything quite like it. Looks up at the bird. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our chicken pets under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. That, that rope on his forehead is really getting me. Ah, but that first meeting between Spoonples and his loft wing was extraordinary. Never before have I seen a bird show its cloaca to the rider so soon. That bird that came to him was a crimson loft wing. It's a brute so rare. We for sure. Oh, sorry, I need breath. It's a breed so rare, we were sure for some time it had vanished from the line. And boy, did it taste good! Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Spoonples and that loft wing of his first met? Oh, what a sight. That little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. The rode Sorry. They rode each other all night. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say that friendship shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. He's just been staring at the sky this entire time while they're like, creepily talking about him. <gasps> he just gasped, he like cummed or something. Ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Spoonples and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty luck sooner or later. Hoo hoo! Ah. Uh. <laughs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. The ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Spoonbles doesn't fly fast enough during the race, ah, uh, what if Spoonbles messes up his big chance? If he has, if he's not allowed to become a knight, then I'll have to have the ceremony with Groose, and I don't want to have sex with him. Calm down, my dear. It'll be fine. I told you, I already rigged the race. Honestly, it's as though you become a completely different person when Spoonbles, when you worry about Spoonbles. Spoonbles. Oh my God.
Listen, Spoonbills, you'd better fly your heart out today. <laughs> At the very least, you need to squeeze in some a little practice time before the race. It's just, she's just dragging him. Come on, you'll thank me later. I cannot sustain voicing these people. My voice is dead already. Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony. So try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah, you can't sense your bird out there. Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel your way out of practice. Nice try. You're not fooling me. I went back to the old, slightly older voice that I was doing earlier. Off you go! <laughs> he just dies. Okay, Spumbles, go ahead. Just press down and call your left way. Wish I could whistle like that. It's like cool whistling. <laughs> well, he's dead. Mm -hmm. hmm. His bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Something is wrong. Oh, wait, she said that. Something's wrong. Jumps off. It's like, it's like uh, Iron Man in the Avengers when Loki throws him out of the tower and he has to call, uh, not Veronica, it doesn't matter. Hang in there, Spoonbles, I got you. That popped on the screen really quickly, I did not much time to look at it. Ooh. Jesus Christ, the bird. Are the two of you all right? Sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? I think it sprained quite a bit more. It looks like it's about to die. This is very odd, Sprinkles. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird's cloaca nearby, eh, Sprinkles? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Spumples, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. We'd better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird is gone. Huh? <gasps> God, the bells are ringing. I'm assuming that's the hippie guy? Who knows? Ooh. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year, my instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Sprinkles, you should go and explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little bit so that you can find your bird. Aha, uh -huh. just nods. But father, you're the headmaster of the academy. <laughs> if Spoopoop asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come and talk to you about it. Ah, quite true as usual. You make an excellent point, my dear. Why follow normal procedures when I can just do it myself? Very well. I'll explain the situation to him myself. Spoonples, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to t come and see me in my quarters. We'll have some very good sex. Uh, his voice destroys my throat. Hmm. Don't worry, Spoonples. I'll be sure to explain your predicament to Instructor Horwell. Go and find him and uh, ask him to meet me in my quarters. While we chat, why don't you ask some of the other students about your bird? I do recall I, few, I saw a few of them gathered near the plaza. That's not all he said, but I'm paraphrasing because I can't speak English. Down at the south of Skyloft, there's a place with the X marked at it. We'll be holding the wing ceremony there today. Yeah, I see it here. Okay. Mm. Have you read a map before? Have I read a map before? You can press minus any time you see or uh, want to see the map of the area. Remember... Press minus. Yeah, okay, okay, minus. I get it. Over here. Yes. Oh. Spoonbuds, I'm gonna tend to my bird. Make sure he's not hurt. I'll catch up with you later. Go and see if anyone in the town knows where your loft wing is. Okay, well. Okay, so it's getting to that time again where I need to end the video soon because, um,. Yeah, it's it's running on quite a bit quite a bit long because 
yeah, that's that's how time works. It's pretty linear, from what I can tell. So I will talk to Rapist again uh, afterward, but in, in the meantime, I have to end the video. So yeah, this was kind of funny, I think. I don't know. That being said, thank you so much for watching. If you sneeze during this video, bless your face. Peace off. Boop. Do 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 do. Subscribe. I like the fairy fountain theme. Bye.